December 26, 2010. The place, Klamath Falls, the ice pit of hell. Welcome to my nightmare. Welcome to my world. Or at the slightest misstep, a person could careen to a painful death on the staircase. Due to slip and fall injuries. This is extreme weather at its best. Where the ice comes down in a thunderous, unrelenting torrent to torture and break down every last bit of structure that lands in its way. Today I will do the torturous and backbending prison-like exercise of, plow of shoveling the snow off my sidewalk. It is an activity that's usually reserved for the most dangerous and heinous criminals in a maximum security federal prison somewhere in Antarctica. You can see the torturous exercise. An unrelentless torrent of snow will seem to break my spirit. And cause me unending pain and anguish. It's like a leaper in below freezing temperatures. My back is the body strains to get the snow across the sidewalk. Okay. Enough sarcasm for one. Would like to shovel, shovel snow. You gotta get it at the right time. You gotta hope you have big, large snowflakes that are light. It's been coming down pretty heavy. Here recently. So you just don't let it sit. Get out there. And you let gravity do the work. That's my neighbor Carl. By the energy, I, I'll, I'll, I'll shovel his sidewalk there. He's a cool neighbor. Okay. If I get it off of this, this is kind of useless. It's melt anyway. We don't park here anyway, but... What the hell? It's fun. It's exciting. Get to see my shovel. But who am I? It's me. Look at it. Now, this is going to be tougher. It depends on the surface of the sidewalk. How easily this goes. <laughs> no, I'm not going to put that on my neighbors. Area. And what you do is you spray salt over here. Let's get that out of the way. And depending on what you want to do, we have two snow, sho snow shovels. And one of them 
kind of like all banged up, but it's good for pounding the cement when you're trying to get ice off of it. And that only happens in situations which I, after I arrive, it's already snowed and it's kind of settled down and melted, but not all the way. Stuck there. Of course, that's the last thing you really want. Now, driving, you can see the road there. It looks like it's just covered with ice. And people aren't really, don't have chains on. That isn't really dangerous until the snow actually gets pretty high up. It's about mid tire level, then you're in trouble if you don't have chains on. Or you should be okay, be careful. Just don't go drag racing. The biggest treat that I have to clear away, <laughs> look at that, it's already coming back, is the space behind the car. Also, I'm, I'm liable to, or apt to slip on that incline there. God, I'm covering the thing. The irony is I made a post to Facebook that I was going to sit on my ass and eat like a pig all day. But, not true. This isn't that bad. This isn't really that horrible to endure. So who does sit on his ass and eat all day and only use his computer. do not get any exercise whatsoever except for shoveling snow twice a year. Fortunate enough that I'll probably lose this weight very quickly. And I was fortunate enough that I kept it out of the way. I didn't gain a lot of weight. And I can't. For whatever reason, I have a lot of energy. Why do we do this? We don't want people slipping on the sidewalk in any situation. And that's why the ice is important. She's doing better than to go that way. And of course, the stairs. Make some noise, but a big whoop. <laughs> I really should have gas blowers for this. Of course, they don't. Of course, I'm dumb. Of course, we have snow on the stairs. It's going to come down this way. Of course, I have to. My back is hurting a little bit. And this is just coming down. Now I'm trying to slip right here. Salt on her sidewalk. We were just religious about that shit. Let me get down here.
Carl's saw is a better condition than mine. Shouldn't be any reason why <coughs> you can exert a little more energy and just go down this way. Really not all that bad. Of course, over here he's got a driveway that's paved. I'm not sick, I just have a cough that just isn't going to go anywhere anytime soon. Of course, if I were super nice, I'd pile it in front of his doorway. The problem is, I don't want to pile these things up in the wrong spot. That would just be messed up. It's actually easier to do his than mine over here. See, I don't want to. I've already pulled a dumb one over there because I got the damn snow pile up in front of his walkway. The fuck wants that? I don't know. So I'm not gonna do that. Let's get it out of the way. Where's the edge? Get up. <laughs> 